Hello, friends. That's, uh, that's what I got out of 1978 in the dorm room with Jimmy. He, he used that line then, and he's still using it. But uh, I do have a lot of friends out here tonight. Uh, it's been a remarkable weekend, and uh, I'll get to them a little later. But um, there's a big question. How did I get here? We're from Seattle, Washington, uh, I caddied for a friend of my brother's, uh, Steve Dallas. And by caddying for him, he gave me a set of clubs. And when I say caddy, let me rephrase that. I, I, I pushed his, as Monty would say, I pushed his trolley. I didn't carry his clubs. I was nine years old. I didn't even know what I was doing. We were baseball people. My brother was a baseball player. My father was a baseball player. And at nine, you know, I didn't know what I was going to be, but I knew it wasn't a caddy. Um, but he did give me, I must say, a, uh, a plastic. Well, there was a, a little canvas bag. I'm sure I'm not the only one in the world that got one of these from, from some supermarket. But uh, it was a plastic driver, a five, seven, and nine, and a putter. And I, I fell in love with the game. Uh, I went up to Jefferson Park and played every day. And then at the age of 14, I was lucky enough to... Uh, get involved to, to be able to go to a clinic uh, at a course up in Seattle that a PGA, a, a unbelievable PGA Tour player was playing at uh, or, or doing the clinic and I got up front and I was staring at him and uh, after a couple hours when I went back I wasn't really the person who said that's what I want to do I'm gonna be a PGA Tour player but I knew I wanted to really really get involved in golf and the gentleman's name was Lee Trevino who has been a mentor and, and someone I love uh, but getting mm -hmm. uh, you know and then while on tour uh, I have had several great things happen and I'll, I'll, I'll go back to after 14 five years later when I mentioned Lee Trevino I, I qualified in Seattle for the US Open at, Inver at Inverary in Ohio. And I made the cut as an 18-year-old, and I was paired Saturday with Lee Trevino. And uh, probably wouldn't cry in the tee, but as, as nervous there as I was right now. And so we get to the tee, and it's a hell of a hole. It's no three-wood, but I, couldn't, I knew I couldn't tee my ball up, so I just grabbed the ball, I dropped it on the tee, and I didn't even tee it up because I knew I would be too nervous to even do it. So that's... <laughs> That's how I think when I got on tour that uh, Lee Trevino always calls me, cupcakes, cupcakes, what the hell are you doing? And I, I, I he, he is, uh, I, I, he's a Hall of Famer, but he's, he's an unbelievable uh, real buddy of mine, even though he's much older, much better, much everything. But uh, so I asked Tom Watson a long time ago, on an off week, can I go stay with you at your house and learn a little bit? He says, sure, come on. So... Sure enough, I fly into Kansas City. I'm thinking, you know, we're going to hit balls for five hours a day for five days. I'm going to ask him, you know, how he makes all these putts. First day, we made bullets for rifles. <laughs> the second day, we fished, which I don't even know how to fish. The third day, we shot skeet. I never hit a clay pigeon, nor a bird, nor a rabbit, nor or, or anything. And so the last day, we're in his garage, and, and I'm... I didn't really need to pack my bag because I never unpacked my clubs, but I found a three wood, which was a lady's driver in his garage. And I'm looking at this thing and I said, uh, can I take this? He goes, yeah, it's, it's Linda's, go ahead and have it. And um, <laughs> it's, not, it's not bad, it's not a bad thing, but I took this thing and um, I played in a lot of President's Cups with it. Uh, I played in a lot of Ryder Cups with it. And in about an hour or whenever I finish this, you will see it in my trophy case next door. It's the three wood that I used for several years, which was like a mini driver. But that maybe was better than getting five hours of practice that I got this driver, which, is, which I used for a three wood. And then to finish, just to uh, thank the Hall of Fame for all they've done for Monty, myself, Mr. Schofield, uh, Willie Park, who I don't know, but uh, you've... You, <laughs> You did a lot for him and uh, Mr. Venturi, who, who uh, we're all going to talk about him tonight, but 
one of the lucky things you get to do is when you, when you know a guy like Jim Nance, uh, you get to do things. And I went to several dinners at golf tournaments with the CBS staff, and Kenny Venturi was there for 10 years of it I got to go. And uh, I, I miss him a lot, but I, I know Jimmy, uh, Jimmy knew something was going on when um, he would get me these dinners and the stories. And Davis Love was part of these, too, and the stories that Kenny would tell You'd wake up the next day, this would be on a Friday or Saturday, and you'd just be so jacked up to play golf tournaments. And Kenny called, CBS actually called a lot of my wins, and uh, Jimmy Nance was part of them. So I want to thank CBS, Jimmy Nance, Kim and Shuri for every, all the support you've ever given me. And then I'm going to finish with this. I'm going to read it because I was told to finish with a bang. So I want to say... <laughs> I should know this because it's not really that long, but thanks for taking a kid from Seattle and putting him into the Hall of Fame. This is the coolest night of my life. 